Welcome back. We are in the Great Day Kitchen, and I hope you are in the mood for some great Mediterranean cuisine. You may want to check out Sababa in Cleveland Park, and we are joined by their executive chef, Ryan Moore. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. It's like Israeli Mediterranean, right, is your yeah, menu? Yeah, Sababa is a modern Israeli restaurant. Um, so I pull food from all over the, the Levant. So North Africa, Middle East, um, so it's a, a melting pot of Love cuisine. It. Okay, awesome. And um, this is a big week because it's Yom Kippur week, right? Uh, yes, <laughs> it's been a, a, a nice run with Rosh Hashanah. Right. Now we're leading up to Yom Kippur. So what I'm offering uh, for Yom Kippur this year, I'm doing a pre-fast and break fast uh, specials. Okay. Designed to fulfill you if you right. need to fast or fill you up when you're breaking your fast. And remind us what Yom Kippur celebrates. Uh, it, well, it's the Day of Atonement. Okay. It's a reflection, looking back for the year. Mm. Um, it's not a huge celebratory Gotcha, holiday. okay, gotcha. But then you can have some great food afterwards, right? Absolutely. And after you've looked back, you realize, you know, you've atoned for everything, and now moving forward, put yes. some good food in your belly. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, you can come to Sababa and have some great food cooked for you so you don't have to worry about right. cooking everything at home. Or you can call it in and have it delivered Perfect. Um, through the uh, delivery apps. Okay, what uh, we're looking at some of your food now. Uh, it's just colorful and bright and it's just, it's so beautiful. Yes, uh, my food is also very full of flavor. Uh, you will not find anything mild on my menu. <laughs> okay, what are you making for us today? So today I'm gonna show you how to make a sumac and preserved lemon encrusted salmon. Okay. Okay, it's not that difficult. Something somebody could do at home if you have the right ingredients. So the first thing I like to do is brush the salmon with Dijon mustard. Okay, just Dijon. Yep, plain Dijon mustard. It adds a little bit of a zing to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and here I have preserved lemons. What you want to do is cut the flesh out of the lemon and just use the skin and then chop it up very small. Mm. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that on. The preserved lemon has a briny, salty finish. It's not as tart as a fresh lemon. And then I'm going to coat it with fresh sumac. This sumac is... Um, very, very uh, savory, but also a little tangy. Oh, tangy, as okay. Well. I, was gonna say, I was gonna ask you what sumac, I mean, I've heard yeah, of it, but I don't know if I've ever realized. Sumac is a berry that okay. grows around the Mediterranean uh, uh, that is that. just ground down. Okay. Okay, once you uh, crust your salmon, it goes right into the oven at I'll 350. let you. All right. The salmon, depending good. on the thickness of your salmon, uh, depends on the time it cooks, okay. it's about 20 minutes or so. Easy enough. Yeah. All right. So while the salmon is cooking, I serve the salmon over top of a fennel and citrus salad. Mm. So the way you want to do that is you take your fennel bulb and you want to shave it really thin from the top down. So I you just get wondered how to, how to cook, cut fennel. Yeah, this is a great way to do it because you get these beautiful little half moons and, and nice shapes that are easy to, to pull up with your fork. Gotcha, okay. Okay, once you have your, your fennel, Okay, I like to add some citrus to it. So I, these are orange segments. Okay, um, I have these beautiful golden beets. I have a lot of rapport with local farmers. So I'm adding golden beets to the salad. Okay, um, with the preserved lemon, when you cut the inside out, blend it with some olive oil and some lemon juice to make a nice little vinaigrette to get some more acidity to the dish. So bright and colorful. How do you, pre you say preserve lemons, how do you do that? So preserving a lemon is one of the oldest techniques. Um, it is essentially salt, sugar, and spices. Okay. And then time does the rest. Time, yeah. It takes a long time. Uh, optimal uh, month or two. Right. But once they're in the, the liquid for preservation, it'll last for years and years oh, wow. to come. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. All right, so you've got the salad, and then we want to get the salmon plated, right? Right. Before we run so, out of time here. Yep, Let what we're you, gonna do. I, you gotta get out of the chef's way. <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're the man in charge. I'm letting the you do The one thing about to. a kitchen, there's no out of the way. <laughs> That's true. Everything, Everything is in the in way. In the way. Oh, that okay. looks amazing. Okay, so you've got the pre-fast and the break-fast for this week for Yom Kippur, yep. but obviously you're always serving these incredible yeah, dishes. Yeah, I'm offering my full menu. Um, I do lots of fun things every holiday, um, and Sababa is a very special restaurant. I highly recommend you come try uh, my food. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for being here and sharing this with us, well, Chef. We appreciate it.